Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. A very simple but delicious spaghetti carbonara. Hello, in this video, I'm going to be making a really classic, authentic Roman spaghetti carbonara, and it's going to be gorgeous. A hey, nice big pan there, it's cold, and the pancetta or guanciale, if you can get it, it goes in cold. We're going to put it on a low heat and let it slowly caramelise and render out the fat so there's no olive oil in this. While that's slowly doing, grate your pecorino cheese, not parmesan, and crack a load of black pepper into it, and a couple of eggs. It's basically one egg per person. 100 grams of pasta per person. It's quite a nice, easy recipe. Just beat that mixture in. We're going to add a little bit of pasta water later to that to make it a bit easier to mix. You see the pancetta is about halfway through. Time to get a little bit of salt into this water, but I've only probably put a teaspoon into two and a half litres of water because I don't want it to be too salty because it's going in the pasta to make the sauce. It was a nine minutes spaghetti, so I put it on for seven minutes. That's how long I'm cooking it for because it's going to finish cooking in the pan. Nicking a good couple of cups full of the pasta water before we drain it. So the heat is now on a still on a low heat. Pasta water going in, and it's going to finish cooking like this. Obviously, at this stage, it doesn't look anywhere near like carbonara. But just persevere. Keep agitating the pasta, and keep that on. You know that low heat while you're doing this. Slowly adding some of the hot water, very starchy water, into. The egg mixture that's going to make it easier like i said earlier to mix into the pasta we're going to keep tossing and stirring and adding water to this pasta until when we taste the pasta we go yes that's nice that's ready so at that point we're going to turn off the heat and add the egg slurry mixture but it's still not quite there so a bit more water keep stirring keep stirring if it takes four or five minutes from this point, that's fine. But just make sure everyone that's having this is ready with their knives and if all their forks are ready. So heat goes off, a little bit of water in the bottom. So I try not to scramble this egg. It looks scrambled, but it's not. You'll notice now the heat off. Just stir it around. Be gentle, but keep moving it around. And you'll find it's as you're doing it, it's going to become more and more luxurious and creamy. And that is just about perfect it's coating the spaghetti beautifully i'm happy with that we're now going to get it off and we're going to put it into a nice bowl and i'm thinking well i want to try to make it look like the other videos where it looks all fancy with a ladle so i'm giving that a twist into the ladle like so and i'm thinking yeah this is going to look really nice and we're going to get to the bowl and it's like, oh yeah i've got to get it now out of the ladle i'm going to just uh i'm just going to dump it in a bowl <laughs> and then we're going to add some of the extra bits on top portion that out and, uh, but that's just looking rather nice, isn't it? And then we're going to finish that with some more black pepper, of course, and a bit more pecorino. And uh, I'm just, you know, I don't know, I'm going to stick a fork in it and start eating it, basically, because that's what you do. You don't wait, like I do, and try to take a load of photographs as well, because it will congeal, it will thicken up too much. But anyway, that's looking fantastic. And it's back over to me for the tasting. Right then, so, delicious. For me, that is... That's as close to classic carbonara as you could possibly get. Obviously, the main difference would be I can't find guanciale, so I use pancetta. Apart from that, as far as I know, that's absolutely classic. Some people will now just use egg yolks instead of whole eggs, but that's the original classic recipe. Give it a try. It's absolutely simple to do. You just have to sort of do everything in the right order, and um, you end up with just this wonderful creamy pasta dish that has no cream in it. Mm. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back to the next video. I'll come real soon. Bye. Oh.